Mom tips worth millions. What can they expect from the brand? So, I'm excited because, so I, I did a pre-launch of Mom tips worth millions um, last year in, in March, right before my, you know, spiritual awakening. And I did it because it was right when the pandemic happened and it was a per I felt like I just had to do, like I, I just had to act on it and just give people you know, my brand and what I was bringing to the table so that they, I knew that children were going to be out of school. I knew it was a time before we, you know, the remote learning got figured out. I knew that it was time for me to just get back to, I was already doing it, but really put more into um, te teaching my, my children at home. And um, so I kind of like threw myself out there and then I got sick, but I still, you know, it was something that I wanted to make sure that I was still working on. So while I was in a bag, like sick and bad, I was working on, you know, my mom's sister that I was giving out on social media into the world. And um, it was just a pre-launch. It was just me just, you know, introducing it, giving them a little bit of what I do, how I am with my children, and just introducing that aspect of myself and the brand. But now, you know, um, it's a year has passed and I'm just really excited to really go full blown into everything that Mom Tips Work Millions really is. So aside from it being tips that's given and offerings to, you know, parents and children and, um, you know, guardians, whoever, like everybody can learn something from Mom Tips Work Millions. It's not just that dedicated to, to moms, it's just that it's, a, it's coming from a mom based on her own experiences with her children. But it's, it's really for everyone. And um, the next thing that I really want to get into with the brand is really I'm, I'm, I'm really want to get into the homeschooling aspect of it because I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I think like I am like doing the best for me is healthy. Doing the best for me is healthy. Now I'm fully I'm about to, I'm about to like fully homeschool Milan and it's a bit different, you know. I'm I'm ready, you know, homeschooling Melody. Um, but now my lawn is in sixth grade, so this is new for me, this is new for all of us, and this is something that she's actually been asking for, for about four years now, but uh, for my own personal reasons, I was putting it off, whether it was work, whether it would be too much, I didn't know if it's something that I could do, but she's always been wanting this, and now we're fully about to do it, so I'm excited, and I'm excited because um, I'm going to be creating some workbooks for them, um, as far as their homeschool curriculum just to keep them, you know, writing and um, learning through um, the things that I, you know, put together for, for them separately. Melody is really gonna be like pre-K or more kindergarten because she's already so advanced. Milan is sixth grade, but it's really gonna be like seventh grade because again, she's already far in advance. Um, and with the, the homeschooling, there's no, um, there's no structure to it. It's just a certain amount of hours that you have to put to your child's education. And I'm personally gonna keep like a transcript of what, you know, what I'm teaching her because I'm obviously needed for my mom. I mean, for Melody when she gets there. But um, I'm excited because as I'm doing it with my children, I also have it available for other parents who want to homeschool their children. something that I'm going to be offering. I'm also going to be um, creating, I'm going to, I want to do like some type of, you know, village for moms. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I kind of got sidetracked it. Mom tips is also about tips that I'm giving to parents, but it's also just to really show that, you know, with all the different roles that we play in the world, if we were tipped, we would be worth a mil over a million dollars because we do so much. And I want to show that through my brand. So I want to show all of the different aspects that all of the different things that you know people they say that moms are superheroes but Teacher, it's it's not doctor, as simple yes nurse, we're doctors all of it we have to do it all chauffeurs hairstylists you, you, you know i learned so much from being a mom i learned what makes your hair grow i learned how to heal them naturally i learned and these are all the things that i want to teach them so as i'm learning it through them i'm teaching it at the same time so we're learning how to heal ourselves why because you know, we decided that we're gonna we want to live a healthier lifestyle. You know, we want more longevity. We want to just have a, a, a just a better way of living and, and feeling in life. And they're learning as they see. They watch mommy, they watch daddy, and they picking up on it. And then I have them active in it. So this is all a part of the school of life. Um, DCB, different color brown school of life and dreams. And that's what it's all about. It's really about them learning through life and through experiences. Of, of, you know, of the people that they're surrounded with, 
and being able to be themselves too. So it's gonna be like, you know, health. You know, Melody is, she she loves to make juices. She, like I said, I breastfed both of them. And Melody, you know, I was more con health conscious with her when I had, after I had her. So I created all her baby food from scratch using fruits and, you know, fresh fruits and vegetables. And I, you know, I created them um, in the, what is it, the, the baby bullet, the smoothie maker. And I made her stuff from scratch and she's always naturally just been like she had a love for fruits and vegetables since then. Of course, she eat a whole bunch of other stuff. But she's really, you know, she loves her food, she loves her vegetables, she loves making our juices. She's I already told her she's in charge of making juices because she loves to do it. So she already she makes us juices, she makes us smoothies. And I'm gonna make it right now. Let's go. Right. So we have some strawberries. She even wanted us to buy her a smoothie maker. But then she, you know, she's a boss, so she says she wants to please come up with her own smoothie maker. So we're working on that. That's in the works um, for children as well. And so it's like they get to learn through life and through experience, and it's just fun. And same thing with Milan. She, you know, she's gonna be the the lunch lady. She loves to cook. Milan loves to cook. She's a great cook. She's a great chef. And you know that's something that she's gonna be doing. We, we're gonna decide how we do it. It's once a week a few times a week but she wants to you know be in control of having doing lunch so um that's just that's just home um essentially that's just lifestyles but that's that's learning how to kind of just be independent in that way you know they're not going to be babies they're not going to be children forever they're human beings and eventually they're going to be grown and have to cook their own meals and do these things for themselves and know learn and know how to heal themselves you know if they get sick how to make these juices these smoothies and and that's what this is about. So that's just one aspect of something that's not taught in school um, that they're going to get from home and in the school of life with, you know, different kind of grounds here with us. But then it's also the educational aspect as well. And we have, you know, we have a, a system of, you know, friends and family who are, um, what would you say? Yeah, who are educators but also, like, really... Um, um. And, and their own personal, you know, per personal th feels that they have. So we know, you know, we have a friend who's great with history, who knows a lot about history. We have another friend who's great with financial literacy. Marcel is a math genius. Prior to any of this, you know, we would honestly like study with Milan and tutor her by like, I would come up with like these games and like math games. It would be math jeopardy, this, this, this. And we, it would be a family like unit. We would do it together as a family. I would do the history and like other stuff because math is not my thing. That's Marcel's thing, but he's great at it, and Milan is great at it. So like she would, th that's something that they would do together. Me and Milan would do history and other things together, or science or ELA. Like it's just it's a it's a beautiful thing. So I already learned how to kind of like get her. I obviously like you know um, loving how learn, loving to learn. So for me, it's just about really putting the curriculum together, and that's what I'm doing. And I always did that from the beginning. To be honest, I literally used to create like a curriculum for her when she was like four or five based off of different pages from different books that I would like place together and then she would have to like do certain things because she loved it so it's like now I'm just doing it from scratch and I'm doing it you know myself and I'm actually going to be this is just this is a practice this is like an art book that she's going to be doing but I'm going to be creating like my own workbooks for her and for Melody um, myself and then like I said I'll be offering it up for other panels to be able to use for their children as well it all and we're, we're teachers we're um, nurses um, psychiatrists everything we do it all so um, it's a yeah it's, it has two meanings some objects with me and I just want to express um, express myself to both of them you can follow me at Montes with Millions on Instagram and um, we I have a lot coming